Hello friends, welcome you all to my channel. So the topic for today's video is how to generate the Maven project and how to launch the browser there. Okay, so what we'll be doing uh, in this white space, we need to do the right click. And when we do the right click, we can see this new over there. And here we can see this Java project and this uh, only the project. So here if we select this Java project, it will create the Java project as we were doing earlier. But we need to select this project so, so that we will be having few options. Here you can see that we have the few options like General, Gradle, Java, Maven, Web and Example. And if I select this Java, we can see this Java project over there. But what we need, we will select this Maven and we can see this Maven project over there. Let's select it and go next. So here this next window came and it will show you, it will tell you that uh, use the default workspace uh, location. If you want to change the location, you can just browse and change the location, but uh, I'm just using the default location. So then hit next again. And here after hitting next again, you can see this um, uh, here we have group ID, artifact ID and the version that we need basically for creating the Maven project. So uh, let's say that in catalog, if uh, this all catalog is selected so here we will it will be very difficult for us to find out which group id or artifact id or version we need that's why we just will select this internal from this uh, drop down and here it will be easy for us to find out which uh, group id we need and uh, which artifact id we need and which version we gonna select so you can see here this org apache maven archetypes and maven archetyped quick start 1.1 version that we will select and hit next this one we need it okay so let's hit next now here comes the uh, set of identifiers uh, this group id artifact id uh, we call them or this version this is all called as the set of identifiers so what is the set of identifiers the group id is basically what it is the name of the company or the group that is going to create the project right uh, so here we can give the company name or we can uh, give the group name that is uh, going to create the project so let's say here um, uh, uh, as for just for the example let's say our uh, group id is work right and just a simple name uh, i'm not putting anything big over here so what is artifact id then well, artifact id is our project name let's say that because today what we are going to do we are going to launch the browser let's say i'm using launch browser as a project name browser okay so uh, the version is the same but package is what package is taking this group id and artifact id together in one place so that's how whenever you will change anything here this package name will get updated so this we uh, that's how we can just put the names these uh, set of identifiers we can put there and just let it finish so you see we created a folder here so let's open it and one more thing i will would like to mention here that if uh, the name is already exist in your like you know workspace then it will show you some error that your pom.xml is already exist so what you need to do that time you will just change the name uh, when when it, you put in your group uh, in that artifact id just change the name and it will generate maven project so we have few folders here uh, source main java source uh, test java and then we have this grd system library maven dependency source target and pom.xml so here let's open these two first and you can see here we have these two default packages and we do not need these default packages so we will always delete them and you can delete this here okay so we always will need to delete them now let's come to our pom.xml so what is this pom.xml this pom.xml basically is a project model project object model file p for project o for object and m for model and that's the xml file right so uh, what this xml file will do this this uh, pom.xml will define that how our code will be built what additional dependency uh, we need to access and how the test will gonna run that's all this pom.xml will do 
so what we have here up to here in this uh, we have just uh, whatever the hierarchy we were using that group id artifact id version packaging and this name of the package and also this property that up to here we do not need to make any changes what our uh, uh, area to uh, deal with is this dependency section under this dependencies tag opening and closing tag we need to define the dependency right so uh, the one individual dependency we have here that is the junit dependency that's the junit dependency over here so what we need to put another thing here uh, for dealing with this uh, launch browser we need selenium dependency basically so what we will be doing uh, we need to find that dependency and let's go to our chrome and uh, let's uh, go to google then and let's search for the maven repository uh, here this maven repository contains all the repository that we need in our poem.xml so for today uh, what we need we will we need uh, let's uh, find in this search bar we need only selenium dependency so we will just find the selenium and just hit the selenium and we can see so many selenium uh, java selenium api selenium support selenium server so many dependencies are available over there but what we need we need this selenium java dependency so let's hit over here and here in the selenium java there are so many versions these are the versions so many versions are available over there you can see you can see up to here and here you can see the uh, uh, the uh, uh, like the most oldest one is 2.0 and here uh, the uh, latest one is this 4.1 right so what we need to do how we will select them because there are so many right uh, this is the uh, the uh, the first one uh, the 2.0 and uh, the latest one uh, latest one is this 4.1 so how to select it we uh, we need to select it based on the uses so the most uh, widely used is uh, with the 421 and this 421 is this 3.141.59 version so we will select this because this is most widely used so then let's hit here uh, click that one and you can see this dependency section here and what we need we need to just copy this from here and we will paste in our dependency section so uh, this line if you want you can keep and if you don't want you just simply delete this one and what next we will be doing that uh, control shift and f so that our line in the identity will be uh, better so that's how with these these two dependencies we need for the launching the browser so we already put it here what next we need to do we need to do uh, to clean and install our uh, this poem.xml so we will go to this run as and we can go to maven build so uh, okay save mm, one second okay without any okay wait a second i'll just do it again for you run as and what we need to do let's go to the maven build oh, oh wait a second okay right click over here run as instead of maven build let's uh, select the run configuration okay so what happened in this run configuration we need to provide our goals we need to keep the goals and these goals are nothing but these are the commands that we are giving to our main project so what is this uh, we need to put this clean and install what are these clean and install goals so this clean is the um, the, is the command that will remove all the files that been generated from the previous build if there is any previous build that clean command will uh, remove all those uh, previous builds and what install will do this install will uh, uh, deploy all the code to the local repository that's why we need this clean and install over there and let's simply say run so though it's already been uh, you know successfully built let's uh, do our console and you can see here in this console that we got the build success that's why our pom.xml is successfully uh, updated so let's go back and uh, now what next is we will go here in source main java and we will create a package right click here new and package what we need to do here we need to uh, give the name for the package so we can give this launch browser or we simply can say launch 
package name is launch and then finish okay so now we have the package and in package what we do what do we need to do we will create the class and we need to give the name of the class let's say the class name is launch browser and we need the main method because we are not using any tags over here for testing your JUnit. So let's choose main method and finish. So what we'll be doing here, let's delete this. We do not need this part. So uh, what the first thing that we need to do we, uh, for launching the browser that the very first important thing is we need to set the system properties. So what we will be using, let's say system dot and when we will be doing system is just the spelling is okay let's say set okay let's do it let's do it just <coughs> okay what happened system dot yeah now we have system dot set properties yeah so we need to use this method that system uh, dot set property so we it will take two argument one is string key and then the string value so let's select it and hit enter over here so here uh, we need to put the data what we'll be doing because it's taking us we'll be putting in the web driver dot from dot driver and uh, here we need to give the path for this uh, where this uh, driver is kept so <clears throat> so far we can put the semicolon here so far we don't have any driver over here so uh, for that uh, driver what do we need here we will be creating a folder name as uh, like this well what, what what i did i just right clicked over the new and go to the folder and just we will create the driver folder over there and just hit finish and then what next is next is that let me check where did i put that one okay uh i've kept it here uh the latest driver that i am using is chrome driver so let's say control c it from here i in the my previous video i already have shown that how to download that chrome driver and how to check the latest version of the chrome driver so you can see that and based on that you just simply can uh, copy it from there where you will save and just paste it here and now you can see the chrome driver is available in our project level so i will right click here go to the properties and i will select it from driver to here <coughs> i'm selecting it from here to here only because uh, I don't want to put the whole path. I just want to put the path for the project level and the path for the project level is what it is driver and uh, chrome driver dot exe only no to so do not need to copy the whole path. So what I will be doing now I will just paste it here. So this is the key and this is the value for the key right. So this is our chrome driver and the, uh, what is uh, where it is kept it is kept over here. So it will take the value from there. What next is then. The next is that we will be creating the uh, instance, the uh, the reference variable for our web driver. So driver, this is the important part here. And then web driver, we can say driver equals to new, and we will be saying Chrome uh, driver. So uh, guys, in, in this is very important here. This Chrome driver is a class, and this web driver is an interface. And this Chrome driver uh, doesn't directly uh, implement this web driver, but what does it do? Let's import them first. Let me import it from this open here, Selenium. And uh, this Chrome driver also, I'll be importing from there, from Selenium. So let's import them first. <coughs> then let me show you. If you do control and click here on Chrome driver, open declare. So what you will see. You can see that this Chrome driver is there and this Chrome driver extends another class that is remote web driver. Okay. And this remote web driver, it will be implementing. You see, uh, okay, let's go here uh, again, open declare and it will be implementing the web driver. So web driver is an interface 
and this uh, oh yeah this uh, remote web driver so yes this remote uh, web driver class is implementing this uh, web driver interface so that's how uh, not directly but indirectly our uh, chrome driver is uh, uh, is representing uh, these uh, reference variable for this web driver so that's how we need to create the reference variable for this web driver now what next now we can just simply do driver dot get url uh, so this uh, get url dot get this url select it mm -hmm. wait a second guys dot get this okay so here we need to give the url so what we want for the url let's say i want to open this uh, uh, maven repository page so let's copy this uh, url from here and we simply give here paste right so i have just pasted it here so what next i need to do i will save it from here and we will simply right click and just go to the run and run as java application so let's run it and see what happens just wait for this this is running and launching the chrome driver so you can see that the url that whatever we have given maven repository our chrome browser have opened this our driver is uh, pretty much able to open this so our uh, test should get successful <coughs> you can see it has successfully started the chrome driver so that's how we launch the uh, Chrome driver over here, our browser, right? So this is the the URL that we used here. What the other important thing I want to show you that let's say that I made some mistake here in the web driver. So let's say I just put it here three four or some some mistake I am I intentionally doing over here. So what will happen? How we can because those exceptions whatever will be coming these are very important to read. So let's save it and execute it from here again as a Java application. So let's see what will happen. Our browser will be working or not. So you see the this got stopped and it is showing us the ill uh, illegal state uh, exception. So what's saying the path to be uh, to the driver executable must be uh, web driver Chrome driver. It should be this from uh, for system properties. So it is showing us that we should put this value in uh, the key of the system dot uh, set property, right? So uh, if we do make any mistake here, we just simply can go to the console and we can find out what mistake we are doing. And if this is correct, uh, let's say if it is correct and I'm putting it here out, I'm giving the wrong path. Then what mistake I can find over here? Let's execute it, and you can see here that the driver executable uh, does not exist so it is showing us that driver executable not exist means our path is wrong so we what we need to do we just simply see here that this is the uh, this is the executable this three is not available right so we need to give the right path and we just simply can delete it from here. So these are the important things guys as I wanted to mention in this video for like launching your browser. So I hope you will like this video and I try to uh, define uh, small small points about the pom.xml and dependencies and why do we use clean install and how to create maven project and what are the uh, set of identifiers that is uh, group id and artifact id and version for creating the maven project so i hope you like this video uh, so uh, do like share and subscribe thank you very much for watching